Uh, Lissy, a really proud moment. You've been picked in the Wallaroo squad for the first time to play for Australia. What, what does it mean to you to play for Australia? Oh, it means everything. Um, I've actually been dreaming about this, so I'm really happy and excited to be in this campaign and, um, you know, run on in the green and gold and, yeah. It's been a, a big, uh, big commitment, like you started your life in New Zealand, but you've really had great ambitions to play for Australia. What does it mean having so many Queensland teammates involved with you to share in the journey? Oh yeah, it's um, awesome. I train with them every day, so having them around and um, yeah, would be pretty good to have some girls that I know around the camp. Yeah. Uh, in years gone by, uh, players coming into the Wallaroos haven't had the benefit of Super W. You've had two seasons of Super W. How do you think that has given you extra preparation for something like this? Oh, just with the coaching and stuff. Um, it's helped uh, helped me build as a, a player and. With these two, um, comp oh, the um, Super W, um, yeah, it's just really helped me uh, with the way I play on the field. And so, yeah. um, the second year of Super W, did you see a really big improvement in the in the quality of uh, the way the girls were playing? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I guess because the girls knew how each state played, and I think our girls, yeah, we just adapted to how they played and just the facilities and everything else. This year has improved much more than last year. Okay, you got two test matches against Japan and yep. how do you think, w w uh, I'll start again, um, w with the talent you've seen in Super W, how exciting is it to imagine all those girls from all those states coming together as one strong team? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I think that they're all talented so yeah, I think it would be pretty good to see how we all gel well together and um, yeah, see them in camp. Uh, how have you matured do you think over the last two years like we saw you as a uh, like a, a young schoolgirl burst onto the scene. You're still very young, but you're a little bit older and more mature. How, how's your game improved? Um, I don't know. Just being around the girls have made me mature <laughs> more. And I'm, I don't know. I think I'm still the same. <laughs> um, the, uh, you're wearing the yeah. green and gold. Is, is it a good, nice feeling? Pretty cool jersey to be wearing? Yeah, it's a really good feeling. Um, I've been waiting for this for like three years now. And I think that, yeah, just grateful for the opportunity that I'm giving to, like, run on with this jersey. So. Uh, you touched on it there. You have to be uh, in Australia for three years to, to get the uh, the right to play for Australia. Yeah. So it has been a long, long <laughs> yeah. haul. So you've done a lot of thinking about this opportunity. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. And once I got the call on Thursday, yeah, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, you look at uh, some of the backs in the team, uh, what are you excited about in terms of the other girls and oh, what just, they can provide? Just to see all the um, girls that haven't played and for the debutantes as well, for our Queensland girls mostly. Um, yeah, but it will be pretty um, a challenge since you, I'm fighting for a position to play for this um, Japan match here. Yeah. Um, do you think it's an exciting time to be a girl playing rugby at the moment with such opportunities around? with? state competitions and now the Wallaroos playing internationals. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Um, um, women in oh, uh, Australian uh, women in rugby, I think that um, it's improving heaps with the Super W comp. And then I think that um, looking in the future, I think it's building and it will be good for um, women in rugby in Australia. You're not so recently a, a schoolgirl player yourself, even just last year. Do you yeah. think there are plenty of schoolgirls imagining uh, the pathways that now exist to Queensland teams and Australian teams? Yep, yep, yeah. There's a lot of pathways now, so girls will be building and be, um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll ask you that one again. So if I asked you a question, you can repeat some of the wording in my okay. question. Thank so you. <laughs> uh, you've been a, a schoolgirl player yourself just last year. D do you see um, young girls in, in school teams and junior teams? Uh, having so many more opportunities now to, to play for Queensland, have a pathway through to the Wallaroos and to test matches? Yes, yes I do. Um, I think there's a lot of um, pathways and you know um, opportunities for the girls and um, in school as well. Um, with the Super W comp in second year, I think that it's, um, yeah, there's a lot of, oh with the BJRU, yeah, that's building and there'll be like a lot of teams that do you like um, 
the the excitement that's a, around rugby? Do you think um, it's a, a really a, a growing sport? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I think for women, especially, um, it's growing heaps, and um, yeah.